Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. It's Rochdale taking on Colchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4 5 1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And so the battle commences. And the emphasis is on creativity. And let's give credit to the defending. Oh, he's through here. Surely. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Well, the situation has changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. Yep, it's a goal for Newport County. They've scored the opener here with six minutes play. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And still looking for space. Superb block. Can he put them in front? It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. But just like that, possession changes hands. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. Campbell on the ball. He's going forward well here. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Alan Judge went in strongly, decisively. And he might be through here. And danger still. And thumped away. Into the advanced position. And the cross is very much on. 
Oh, surely. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And now the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Judge. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Well, a good tackle. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Crossed accurately towards the far post. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Over it comes. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Applying vigorous pressure. And you need your defender to take charge. Dangerous looking attack. Body in the way. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All in all, a broken counter attack. Moving forward effectively. A chance to whip it in. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. A sloppy pass. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Who can he pick out? Attending to his defensive chores. Magnificent defending. Great opportunity. And still a chance. That is that for the first half here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Now, he could be in hot water here, having already been booked. And his day is done. Second yellow card, Stuart. Well, I have to say, it was coming. Why was he not taken off earlier? Time for a change then. He plays it short. An unforced error, you've got to say. Into the advanced position. Can he put them in front? And the post denied him. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And over comes the corner. And a struggle to get it away properly. The delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. Danger averted for now. Well, we've been wondering for a while now, would it happen for Manchester United? Now it has happened on the transfer front, Stuart. Yeah, I like the look of him. I think it's a good move for both him and the club. Let's hope he makes an impact fairly quickly. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. A goal! 1 0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen.
Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alex Scott has the details. Yep, it's a goal for Leighton Orient. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 59 minutes gone. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And dispossessed. And it's a quality pass. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. It's with Edwards. Getting forward. And played in. And still danger here. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Substitution time it is. Number 12, Aurora Edwards. Coming onto the pitch, number 7, Luke Hammond. So the corner played into the box. And nicely parried away. They need to get tighter. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Played over. Still not clear. Threat over for now, it seems. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? But nothing comes of it. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Kelly He continues his run and crossed in the direction of the back post Oh, he squandered the opportunity He might be relieved though to see that the offside flag is up Well, the linesman's sparing his blushes here but you have to say it was a shocking effort Liam Kelly five minutes remaining and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close now they stopped them in their tracks see this is a wonderful strike he makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it it's a great goal so 2-0 now The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent.
might really be able to trouble them here. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right areas and he scored a very good goal as well.